welcome back. I think everybody is super excited because yeah. now the time has finally come. Today is the official launch of Winner Home Season 3 right here on Afternoon yeah. Express. Uh, every weekday we'll follow our three design contestants as they turn three empty properties into dream homes and you, the viewer, stand a chance to win one of the three completed homes. After, after the different weeks and weeks of searching, we decided on three young designers who themselves will compete to win a 100,000 Rand cash prize and an internship at one of South Africa's top interior design and decor studios, Arc in Cape Town. Yeah, and first up, we have Joanne Fenter from Bloemfontein, who is a candidate architect and freelance photographer. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, we have Minette Lenduli from Durban, who's an architect, avid photographer and amateur soccer player. Welcome to you too. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And lastly, our final design contestant is Rudolf Jordan from Cape Town, who is a qualified interior designer and lecturer. Welcome and congratulations, you, Rudolf. So, nervous? Is that the word to describe what is going through all of your blood right now? <laughs> yes. My word. Not even. Yeah. Quite let's, nervous. Let's begin with you. I'd like to know from you quickly. I know you two are both very avid uh, photographers. photographers. And, uh, what, is it, what is it between an interior designer and an architect and how does that all work out? So at university, we were constantly pushed to think about the inside and mm. outside of, oh, of buildings. So we can, we're supposed to As think of... As if, like, architecture isn't hard enough. Now yeah. you have to think about what's <laughs> going to go on in the inside. But what's on the outside, it happens on the inside as well. So you have nice. to think about lights and lines and composition. Mm. Everything is on the inside as well. Yeah. So it's wow. just as important. So why did you enter this competition? Because I always try to challenge myself to do something new all the time. And I thought this was the the competition to do it because yeah. you get um, pushed into this thing and mm. there you go, make the best of it. <laughs> what do you think yeah. stood out about the three of you respectively that made you really get selected in the end out of all the entrants? I think we were all very versatile. We, do, we don't do just do one thing. We um, showed multiple talents, yeah. I think. Yes. And you, Manantli? Um Exactly what she just said because um, getting to meet these guys, I uh, got to understand that they're very versatile. Um, like, like with me, um, I have a lot my background is architecture, but I'm branching off into other fields from graphic design to photography. Mm. Yes. So all the creatives. And you're also a lecturer, Rudolf. Correct, yes. Apart from just being an interior designer. Yeah, so I'm really being put on the spot here. <laughs> it's interesting because you are the only contestant out of the two of them who is not an architecture background. I think you're an interior designer I'm, as well. I'm an interior designer. Yeah, yes. which is going to be interesting for you because these two are going to have to imply their sort of very focused sort of uh, grid lines <laughs> into interior design, whereas you've kind of had a long, long background in that. Will that be to your advantage? Let's hope so. We will have to wait and see. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Minetta, you're a self made architect. Please that explain yeah. that process. Um, I have a degree in architecture from the University of UKZN. I'm still planning on taking it further and doing my masters. Mm. But what does self-made mean? Yeah. What does that mean? Because everyone else was educated, then you both are self-made, technically. Um, well, I have my master's degree, so I can go on professionally as to do. Oh, I, I still see. need to do my, my hours. I have to do two years of hours to become professional artist on the exam. Yeah. And then I'm qualified. But you are self-made, you have to make your own way out there and right. try to mm. get how clients. Much, yeah, having said that, how much motivation does it take to actually last in a competition like this? Self-motivation. Well, throughout our studies, you are pushed to work very hard, mm. tight deadlines all the time. You have to uh, allocate your time wisely, otherwise you won't get done. So it's going to be the same, I think, in this competition. Mm. So you've all met your mentors. How do you feel? Are you excited? What were your first impressions upon meeting them? Personally, I'm very excited with my mentor, and um, I was extra happy that it's a female. I feel uh, that would work well. She'd add that feminine touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, Rudolf? No, it's just amazing to, to be in touch with the mentor and to see what they can contribute yeah. to this whole competition, and it's yeah. going to be great. And what are your expectations going forward throughout the, the season? I can't wait to, to start painting and mm. planning and just going... Crazy. So I promise you the viewers sitting at home going like, I have to vote for these people and I have to get involved in this yeah. whole competition. They want to know the people behind you because me nentle, me nentle, I find that you're quite a chilled, chilled guy and this is going to be a hard paced competition. Don't you think you're a bit intimidated by that? Are you intimidated by the sort of energy of the other two? Now, I'm, generally I'm used to being the underdog so mm. oh. should, it, it's definitely going to be a, a lot of hard work but I'm, I'm used to that with it. The studying architecture cool. is very intense. He's the children. He's going to be playing soccer outside while yeah, everyone else is stressing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm interested to know, like he's called himself the under underdog. I'm interested to know if you guys have given yourselves like a title. Yeah, have you judged each other? 
Yeah, like like the underdog no, title. I've never done that. <laughs> you just need this morning song. Yeah, yeah. So no, I meant yourselves. Time. Oh. Yeah, because you just called yourself an underdog. What would you call yourself? The, the female... Um, Maverick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's I really just... a hard one. I'm glad that you guys are getting it's nervous about answering all the questions around that. <laughs> We're going to meet your spot. mentors later on, but I want to yeah. find out that real behind the scenes. People want to know you as people. They want to know what makes you tick. So besides architecture, what do you do for fun? I love photography. Okay. I really enjoy shooting models, weddings, people in general. So we should see some good styling there too, in terms of the way the things are photographed. You might see a lot mm. of colours being portrayed in the way that you're designing your houses. So that, yes. That's pretty interesting. And yourself, Minen Um I'm also... I recently got my first camera, so I'm getting into the photography, but not your typical photography. Mm. I'm not really a fan of photographing people. It's more architectural, capturing those lines. Sheesh, OK. Creative so that, stuff. That yes. should bring out an interesting home for, for one viewer, potentially. And yourself, Rudolf? For leisure, I do mountain biking. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to get to, into the outdoors and get inspired by nature, so it's yeah. pretty good. Cool. So we see some greens in your in your I love green. Cool. Yeah. And Manenta, your mom's played quite a role in your getting here. Do you have a close relationship and is she quite supportive? Yeah, very close, because um, I actually feel sorry for her, because she left alone now in, in Durban, because it was oh. just the two mm. of us. Oh, guys. So, yeah. This is going to be such a journey. We'll make a whole new family here. Don't worry. We'll all yes. be looking after you guys as you go on this incredible journey. We can't wait to see what our three designers have to show us over the coming weeks. After the break, we meet their three mentors who will be taking our design contestants under their wing over the course of Winner Home right here on Afternoon Express. Don't go anywhere. Afternoon Express, so someone lucky is going to win themselves a home. And before the break, we met our three design contestants for Win a Home on Afternoon Express. And now it's time to meet their mentors. First up, for Joanne Fenta, we have Sumin Barank. Uh, she's a woman who's no stranger to the world of design and architecture. As the editor-in-chief at Vizi Magazine, she sees her fair share of beautiful interior design on a daily basis. Take a look. I'm Sumin Brunk, and I'm the editor of Vizi Magazine. Because I've been in the industry for such a long time, my style is quite a complicated style. It's a little bit of new, a little bit of old, with a little bit of madness thrown in. I'm so excited. What I'm looking for is an enormous amount of talent, enthusiasm, um, the willingness to actually do the hard work and just to be fearlessly creative. I don't think I've ever been a mentor to anybody, so this is a, a great challenge for me. And I hope we have a fantastic working relationship, because I think if you've got a good relationship with somebody that you work with, half the battle is won. Obviously, we are hoping to win and hoping our contestant to win. And I think we want to show South Africa something they've never seen before, something that is totally unique and something that everybody wants to live in. Wow, we do have some real experts in our panel for this year. It's really, really exciting to see. So, Samin, welcome to our loft. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah. for having me. What do you me. think of our architecture? you think it's beautiful? Yeah. Would you I like to put it in the magazine? <laughs> Absolutely. What, so, yeah. Samin, you're the most experienced of all the, the mentors. It's a very nice way of yeah. saying it. Oh, I mean, in terms of just your, you've put in the hours, you've put in the work under your belt. <sighs> and how does that make you feel? Do you feel like that gives you an edge? Well, I hope so. Maybe I've seen a little bit more than the other two editors, but um, Michelle and I worked together on a publication before, and Belle is very uh, confident and fantastic, and we're all great mm -hmm. friends, so... Um it should yeah. be an exciting journey for you. Yeah. Yes. Um, we heard Nentle say that he's excited to work with the female boot to bring the female touch into his work that he's going to be doing. What are you hoping to see with your relationship? I think we are, I would love to be like her one day. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I would just uh, I would just want to learn and as much as I can from her. Yeah. Okay. Well, and as a mentor, I mean, what do you hope is will be the core of what you pass on to to your mentee in this I process? Don't, I don't know so much about passing on. I think it's sharing. Mm -hmm. And I will learn from her and she will learn something from me hopefully. Mm. But ultimately, it is a competition, and there's got to be a winner. Well, so what does, we it, what does it take? What does it take to win a competition like this? What, what is it about and that we're looking to see from Joanne from this competition to give her that winning edge? I think it is a great passion, a great enthusiasm, and not to be scared to try new things. Mm. 
Do you think she's better than the other two contestants? Of course I think so. <laughs> okay, she has to say that. <laughs> now we move along to Minan Flair's mentor. Uh, Bell Bellingham is the editor of Ul Decoration and with a background in interior design, visual culture, art theory and digital media, she definitely has a wealth of knowledge to share. Let's take a look. I'm Belle Bellingham. I'm the editor of Elle Decoration magazine. I define my personal style as evolving. I definitely have a tendency towards glamour. No matter what the trend is, I'm always going to gravitate towards things with a story to tell. What am I looking for in my design contestant? Someone who's very hardworking. You can be good at anything if you're really committed to working the hardest at it. I think also someone who's just as in love with it as we are. That's the big thing about working together in teams. It's, it's very trendy to collaborate and to co-create and all of these trendy words. Uh, I want to have some fun. We are styling, we are doing decor design. It's a subjective, emotional, very personal thing. So I really hope that we have the same preferences. If we don't, I really hope we can be friends. <laughs> My team work with me every day. They understand that they are tough, but I'm a little bit nervous that I might be a bit tough on the contestant. So I want the end product here to be really something spectacular. And in order to get there, you can't be a sissy. Sure, so on to our second editor of the day. I'm very excited to see that the quality of our mentors this yeah. year is absolutely top-notch. I think we're going to see some incredible homes coming out of this yeah. competition. Belle Bellingham from El Decoration. So, after meeting Minetli, what stood out for you the most about his work and his process and how he sees design? Well, first thing, I stalked him on Instagram. And <laughs> I think that was my greatest... Just seeing who he is. I mean, it's my trick. That's how you get to know Anything people. Yeah, you stalk, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We it's, love stalking. It's Instagram. incredibly curated. You can okay. see that he's put a lot of time in there. He's, wow. It's fastidious attention to detail. Um, yeah, a lot of editing's gone into it. You can mm. see that it's really... There's hard work in there, and that, for me, is the most exciting thing. Mm. Mm. Minente, you're obviously one of the hardest working of the three in terms of the amount of work that you've done in the industry, and you worked on a couple of projects before. Just talk about uh, some of the homes that you have worked on. Um, for me, I was lucky that straight out of Varsity, I got to work on a project that wasn't straight off the ground. So that um, allowed for me to be more involved in just the facade, which is mostly about the architecture, so we got to get inside the house. Uh -huh. So that's where I found uh, interest in the interior mm. design. So you've got a vision sort of of the paper. Yeah, you've it's got the vision of the paper and the vision of what it looks like yeah. once that's been materialised too. Because mm. I definitely believe uh, interior design completes your, your building. Who do you think is your biggest competition? Amongst the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though they're sitting right here, my friend. <laughs> myself, they myself. I'd say Joanne, because we come from a similar background. OK, Joanne. Hmm. So, well... In terms of just what you see happening ahead, what do you think gives him the edge? What do you think makes him stand out? And how do you think, and how far are you, in terms of the rules, allowed to input? And how far would you go? Yes. How far would you push for him so to that's win? That's what I'm a bit worried about. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, obviously I'm quite opinionated and, and hungry to, I want yeah. him to win. Yeah. So, um, I think his edge is his, his architectural background. Mm. I think that that, just in terms of, if anything, in terms of crafting furniture for the space or and also working with other designers, he's going to have the technical background. Yeah. Um, that's invaluable, actually. Um, how much am I going to get involved? I'm going to try my best to behave. <laughs> but I already have been a bit of a bully. <laughs> well, I think it's good to have you on board because he said he wants a feminine touch. And speaking about important females in his life, you might have become a very important one, but your mom is also very important to you. What, how did your mom react when you told her that you were saying, hey, mom, I'm out of a normal job, I'm going to go into a competition? <laughs> I think that, that was, uh, was the first time I saw her cry, besides from church. <laughs> and and she, she's not a person that... Um, out of sadness or joy? I think definitely joy. Okay, Top three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, so that, we have footage of her. <laughs> she's so sweet. She's not a person that shows much emotion, so it was something new for me and very special. Wow, sure, man. That's incredible. Yeah. Can't wait to see the work that yeah. you guys produce together. Now, the final mentor for Winner Home on Afternoon Express is Michelle Snadden, uh, who will be taking Rudolph under her wing and is an experienced project manager and writer, as well as the editor of Real Estate Magazine, which features beautiful, uh, features beautiful interiors uh, that are all of interest to discerning readership who invest in the high-end property market. Take a look.
My name is Michelle Snadden, I'm editor of Real Estate Magazine. My personal style is based around my story, my life story. And so for me, coming home is all about coming to somewhere that's really comfortable. And I love good art, photography, books. Home without books is a home without a soul. It's not just about the basics, it's about the soul space, and it's about your history, it's about your heritage, and it's what has a sense of meaning for you. And what's really amazing is now that there are top architects working on those developments, it's so much more exciting a space to play in than it used to be. The trend is huge. I like to be a collaborative mentor, someone who helps network the young designer with, with the networks that we have in the magazine. When you move in a project like this, it's about the budget, it's the final vision for the development space that's really important. I really want to work with someone who's got quite a clear vision and to watch how those are shaped into a very defined competition space. The designer needs to work within that space, yet give it, give it character, give it some meaning. <laughs> Our final mentor on um, Winner Home on Afternoon Express is Michelle Snadden, mm -hmm. and she's the editor of Real Estate. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome back, Rudolf. Thanks. Guys, let's talk a bit about your relationship. I mean, you're also, again, another male and female pairing that you mm. guys have got going on here. We've seen a very vibrant L de decoration sort of mentor. We've seen a long, aged, a sort of really working hard kind of mentor. And now we've got a brand new mentor, which is all about real estate. It's all about that property. It's about, actually, the buyer. Um, what are you hoping to bring towards this relationship? I guess from my side, I do have that, that perspective and what developers are looking for, how they cost hmm. developments, how the furnishings are costed. And that's what appealed to me about Rudolf is because he has had a little bit of that experience having run his own interior design business for a year. Sure. So there's a, there's a synergy there. Mm. What do you think makes that relationship between a mentor and a mentee tick? I always think you have a lot to learn from each other. I mean, already we've discovered things. And I, and I often think that... that when you're involved in a challenge like this, you actually don't know how much you do know mm. until you start working with someone, and then it comes alive. So that's what I'm looking forward to, seeing that unfold, that whole yeah. creative process and working on it together. Rudolf, I, obviously being a lecturer, I mean, your students must be watching this very closely, be like, is my lecturer <laughs> legit? Yeah. Um, but I'm sure they'll be very, very proud of you for being here today. Um, but in terms of the actual previous work that you have done, tell us about the work that you've done practically with a couple of homes. Yeah, I was very fortunate to um, have been um, working on a project last year alongside Jenny Mills, which is a great mm. architect. And um, yeah, so I learned a lot from that experience, designing the furniture, working alongside her in mm. terms of the spatial planning, etc. So that's great. Apart from just winning in the end, because we all want to win, right? sure. <laughs> what are your long-term goals just throughout the process of winning a home competition? Well, obviously, I want to learn as much as possible from, from Michelle. Um, we want to extend our, our networks as far as possible. Mm. And, um, yeah, just enjoy the whole process and show South Africa what interior design is all yeah. about. Michelle, I must ask you this question, and you can say this as honest as you can, because I'm really trying to push these contestants to their mm. limits. I want yeah. them to be the best. But <laughs> do you think it's a, it's a downfall of his that he hasn't had architecture experience like the other two have, that he's purely an interior designer? Will that be to his detriment? I don't think it'll be to his detriment. In fact, well, I, see, I think you'll see different strengths from every single contestant. Yeah. Um, and I think so long as you have a good sense of space and a holistic vision for a project right from the beginning and you plan really well i think it's all in the planning mm. that's the part that scares me the most sure I kind of want to see it start to happen mm. and to go yeah. ahead because because you know it's also a little bit of luck these kind of things things mm. can go wrong they can go beautifully right exactly. so wow well thank you so much for joining us best of luck thank you yeah we'll be watching <laughs> over to you Jeannie. Now, we are so excited to have Winner Home right here on Afternoon Express for an exciting third season of Exquisite Design. Every weekday, we follow our talented design contestants as they turn empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands into dream homes using amazing finishes provided by Caesarstone and, of course, Plascon. And the best part is, drum roll, you can enter the grand prize competition on privateproperty.com co.za for a chance to win a finished apartment valued at over three million rand. Now, Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Now, after the break, our guest chef, Alice Toich, puts the finishing touches on those mini autumn blackberry and dark chocolate stacked pavlovas. We'll be right back. With thousands of new properties from South Africa's top real estate agents, banks, developers and homeowners every day, trust private property to find your next home. Private property, a home for everyone.